Perryman obviously went out with a with an ankle. Um, you know, it's an ankle sprain. We'll kind of see how long he'll be out. Um, but he may miss. He may miss. May miss the game. A game or possibly two. Um, Quincy Wilson's in the concussion protocol. Uh, Arthur uh, Ballett had a has a groin strain, uh, groin strain, and then um, Connor McGovern has a hamstring strain. Um, I think he's going to be week to week. Obviously, he's a he's a guy that you know wants to try to see if he can go this week, but we'll kind of keep an eye on that. Um, and really, after I mean after that, just why after watching the game, you know, we didn't do a, a good enough job in all three phases. Um, left too many yards out there on offense, didn't finish drives the way we needed to defensively. You know, the one thing that we talked about was making sure we didn't give up explosive plays in the run game. We didn't do that. Gave up two huge plays, one being the first play of the game, and then, you know, third and 31. You know, we, we got to make sure we do whatever we can to get that guy down. You know, we had, too, we had too many guys on the ground on that play, and, you know, we got to be ready for for them to cut back like the way they did. So um, special teams, we got some things to clean up. Overall, we just we got to put everything in, in hyper hyperdrive and, and do a better job this week and improve quickly and get ourselves ready for Indianapolis. So any questions you guys got? Again, star three, if you have any questions for Coach. Star three, if you have any questions for Coach. Rich from ESPN, your line is active. Yeah, Adam, uh, just following up on the injuries, uh, c- kind of like a two-parter here, uh, if you could provide an update on Crowder and how hopeful you are uh, of him playing this week, and also you think uh, Flacco could be cleared to actually be the backup this week? Uh, <clears throat> Crowder, I don't have a great answer right now. Um, I think every day we're just hoping he gets a little better. Uh, we'll see kind of where we're at when we hit Wednesday. And then uh, Flacco, I think, is – I think he may have an appointment either today or tomorrow to, to figure out where, where he's at and if there's a possibility that he, he would be available for this game. Any questions for Coach, please press star three. If there are any questions for Coach, please press star three. from the post, your line is active. Adam, you said last week that you had to get a turnaround faster or did, you know, you'd have the same result. Where do you kind of go from here to make sure it doesn't spiral away early on in the season? Uh, I mean, we go back to work. I mean, the guys that we got that are healthy, we get those guys playing as well as we can, uh, keep finding ways to improve each week. You know, we did some we did some things better than the week before, but it just it, it's it wasn't enough, obviously. And we gotta we gotta make sure that we're applying what we learned from the week before to the next week. And if we do that and, and keep our head down and keep working hard and keep preparing the right way, then we'll put ourselves in position to to win a football game on Sunday. Um, but we we gotta we get, we gotta clean things up during the week. And we gotta apply them on Sunday. Al from Newsday, your line is active. Adam, yeah, looking looking uh, back, I know you would have had the one yard on fourth and one, but if the uh, mic was blocked, is there anything now that maybe you would have done differently? I mean, obviously you said there was a play you wanted to run, but you couldn't. Yeah, I mean, I originally was calling a pass on third and one, and unfortunately the pass was for uh, BP, and you know, obviously he was out of the game, so I went to a different call. And the third and one, I felt like 
with what they played, we, we were in good position. We took a bad angle to, to block one of the DBs, and he slipped through, and that's what kind of stopped us. And then they had another opportunity on fourth and one, and, you know, we got we to gotta anticipate what they did, and then we got to make sure that we do a good job blocking the linebacker. And it's going to be a really good play. And we didn't do that. Andy, from the record, your line is active. Um, Adam, when, when we look at, when, when we go back and look at the tape, we see that Sam didn't throw, you know, beyond 10 yards, really, the, the entire first half. And, like, from your perspective, is that conservative play calling? Is that, uh, that was, that, that was our game plan. What was there? Or? That was our go game ahead, plan sir. going in. It was our game plan going in that we wanted to make sure that we, we attacked to, to keep it third and manageable. Um, we had shots that we were going to run later in the game, but then we, we had injuries and and those kind of those kind of went out the window. Um, that was kind of our game plan was to kind of work those guys, try to make sure that we negated the rush. You know, unfortunately, once once that happened, you know, the guy that you know, is able to stretch the field for us was out of the game. And, you know, these guys, the, the, the toughest thing about playing San Francisco is they, they gave up the least amount of, of balls over, over their head compared to everybody else in the NFL last year. And that's something that they, they don't allow. They don't allow you to throw, throw any balls over the head. They, everything they give up is between 10 and 19 yards. Um, that's, that's what makes it tough to go against those guys. They make you drive the length of the field. Mark from the post, your line is active. Yeah, Adam, I just with regard to Chris Herndon, uh, so much has been kind of talked about in this truncated training camp and whatnot and kind of the expectations of having him back and healthy. He's had a couple of hiccups in each of the last couple of games, and the production hasn't really been there yet. Can you speak to what may be missing there? Is there a confidence issue? You know, what's, what's going on with him? I don't, I don't see a confidence issue. I mean, I see him do a lot of good stuff in practice. You know, I, I I thought we had some good stuff for him in this in this game plan. Uh, a few things that once the game got out of hand, it kind of it, it won't it wouldn't have worked as well as you know when you're when you're down by as, as much as we were down. Um, thought he had a good opportunity for a touchdown on that that third and seven. Um, you know, we went to him on a, on a go ball, and, and we get a DPI, but, you know, that, that really doesn't show up for his, for his actual numbers. Um, I mean, every week we're, we're trying to find different ways to, to get him the ball, get him going, see if we can make him somebody that teams play attention to. I mean, it's his second game back after missing a year. You know, I, I'm, I think we're just, we just got to keep working, keep, keep getting him comfortable, and, and see if we can get him, you know, being an impact guy on, on Sundays. Ralph from SMY, your line is active. Hi, Adam. Um, I'm curious, uh, what's your overall thought on how Sam has played through the first two weeks and how much do you think you know, his numbers being down are a victim of the fact that you have had so many injuries for so many of the guys who are his weapons? Yeah, you know, I, I thought yesterday he did he did a better job than the, than the first week with just just the overall management of the game. Um, I think he did a good job of running on third down, getting a conversion there. I thought the first half, you know, we only had three series. You know, the second and third drive being his, you know, eleven and fifteen play drive, and you know, he's 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 doing some good stuff. We just we just got to find a way to get the ball in the end zone. When we're in the red zone. That, that's that's the number one thing, and you know that's something that we'll just we'll keep working on. We'll keep making that a point of emphasis, and you know it was good to see us being able to keep him in third and manageable, and then him getting conversions. I thought I thought there was some really good throws that he made, and we just got we got to keep building off of the, the positive things that we did. Charles from the Daily News. Your line is active. Uh, Adam, realistically, what do you think is the ceiling on this offense moving forward? You know, I'm not really 
looking at it like that, Charles. I'm, I'm more looking at it as how do we improve from one week to the next? You know, how do we how do we make sure that you know what we're practicing, we're executing correctly on Sundays, um, we're executing the philosophy of the game plan. You know, week in and week out. You know, I, that that that's really where we got to we got to do a really good job as far as just taking taking our weekly practices and, and applying them on Sundays. You know, those those miscues that we're having where we have a, a negative run and then a sack and then kind of knock ourselves out of, you know, contention for a touchdown, like those are the, those are the plays that we have to eliminate. You know, and, it, and it's hard to eliminate them, but, it, but it, minimize them. It has to be, you know, it can't happen every time that we get in one of those situations. We've got to figure out a way to convert on third downs. When we're in the red zone, and then when we get when we get a turnover, and we're in the red zone, and we're in the low red zone, like we gotta we gotta make those plays that that are there. When we throw a ball and we're in the end zone, we gotta we gotta finish it. We gotta catch it. You know, we gotta execute those plays. It takes precision down there, and we need to apply what we're doing in practice and and execute those the same way on Sunday. We'll take a couple more questions, Dennis from the Associated Press. Your line is active. Adam, if McGovern can't go, um, would that be Josh Andrews? Are, are you comfortable with him in that spot? And, and how, how does that affect the overall operation, you know, if McGovern can't go? Because Sam has, has been through quite a few centers now over the last two years. Right. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it would probably be Josh unless unless something changes between now and, and Sunday. But, um, you know, that's why he was brought here. He's a guy that's He's played football and he's been in this league for a minute, and you know he's a smart guy that that knows how to play the game the right way, and he's a good communicator. So, you know, I, I have confidence in him being in there, and we'll just kind of see where Connor is. Obviously, uh, you know, if he's if he ends up going this week, we just have to make sure that it's not one of those deals where he only can play a few plays and he's out of the game. Like we we need to have confidence that he can make the duration of the game. JP from Forbes, your line is active. Uh, Adam, in terms of the defense, uh, you mentioned before, you you asked before about those uh, those large uh, chunk running plays, the two the two large plays. Uh, on both of those plays, the, the, the player that was picked up earlier in the week because of the injuries, Alec Ogletree, seemed to be out of position. I, I know Greg Williams runs the defense, but would you feel comfortable at some point in saying personnel wise, maybe? this player shouldn't be in the game or, or to o- overrule some of his personnel choices or would you not feel comfortable doing that? No, we, we talk about all the things that we want to do uh, heading, heading into a game. Um, you know, we play a lot of different players on defense. You know, our, our kind of our thought process going into this game was, you know, making sure that, that Ogletree and, and Avery kind of were – we're splitting time because, you know, this is Avery's first game back in a year, his first real live situational football, you know, in a real game. So we wanted to make sure that we, we kind of played that played that out the right way and you know, it's there there was it was more than it was more than just tree on that first play. We had we had a couple guys kind of take bad angles and then bury themselves into some blocks that could have really helped us out stop that play. Or minimize minimize the game. Chris from NJ.com, your line is active. <laughs> kind of uh, following up on what you just touched on, Adam. Uh, do, do you expect Avery to kind of have his workload ramped up a little bit as he gets into Game Two, Game Three, being that he's yeah, coming off more? I mean, that's what, that, that was the plan. That's the plan of you know before he kind of had the hamstring. Was I thought we were trending in the right direction? You know, with with where he was and and how much he was going to be able to play, and then you know he has the hamstring, so that kind of knocks him out of that first game. And you know now we're we're trying to ramp him back up. You know we're just trying to make sure we don't have any setbacks with him with with any other kind of injuries. And you know the more the more that we can get him out here, get him out on the field, the better. Um, on Sam. The first one, on the fourth and one play, does he 
have the freedom if he sees something to call a quarterback sneak? Uh, not on that play. He didn't. Uh, why not? Is there some like what's the explanation? That's it's my call. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that it's not like a sweeping. That's just for that particular play in that situation. He did not have. Yeah, there's some, there's like, sometimes there's there's sometimes that things like that are built in, and he knows he can go to it. And there's other times where he's gonna he's gonna call a play that's run. If we execute the play, we got the first down. We didn't execute it. Get him to be after one full season in your system. Uh, I, I mean, I think that there's certain things where he's doing a really good job of, you know, executing the offense, making making adjustments when needed. Um, I think there's some some other things that you know we we we've, we've gone away from to try to you know take some of the, take some of the pressure off of him. Um, I, I feel like he, he's progressing the right way I mean we just got to keep working through you know some of these things that occur in games you know I, I'm sure it's, it's probably not fun for him to go through where he's got you know re, you know revolving door of wide receivers and trying to figure out you know who his guys are I mean I'm, I'm sure the injuries you know to those guys aren't fun for him to go through I mean he doesn't he doesn't complain about anything he he just tries to figure guys out and tries to develop chemistry with them as fast as possible and and tries to, tries to find a way to, you know, get first downs and stick the ball in the end zone. 